Hi, my name is Wayne Dixon and I want to teach you a few things that you probably didn't know about Blender's animation player. Let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so what am I talking about? I'm talking about when you render out your animation, you actually want to see it. So you can find that from up here in the menu, render, view animation, or just use a shortcut, control F11. Boom. This is what I'm talking about. This is the Blender animation player. You probably know you can start it and stop it with the space bar. Probably didn't know you can start it with the enter key, but you can't stop it with the enter key. So don't use enter, space bar. Now to navigate through this, you can just scrub with your mouse, just clicking down left and right, and you can scrub through the frames. And very softly down the bottom there, very, very small, you can actually see the frame numbers, but you can hold down shift to actually show you that. Look at it, it's so tiny. Another way to step through is with the arrow keys, arrow right, arrow left. If you want to jump 10 frames, go up. If you want to jump 10 frames back, go down. Now, did you know you can play your animation backwards with shift down? Oh, look at him. He's running backwards. If you push the P key, it will ping pong. It'll go to the end and go to the start. Go to the end, go to the start. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm a ping pong. If you want an indicator, just hit the I key. And then you get this cool little green line. Whoa. You want to get rid of it? Push I again. I for indicator. Now you can slow your animation down with the numpad minus. Look, he's going slow. If you don't have a numpad, get yourself a numpad. You can click on our affiliate link below to get yourself a numpad. If you want to speed up your animation, control numpad plus on your new numpad. Okay, just being told we don't have an affiliate link. Why don't we have an affiliate link? We should have an affiliate link. Now you can specify with the numpad what frame rate you want, but it's not very intuitive. Number one is fast, 60 frames per second. Number nine is really, really slow. What I would suggest is just using the plus and the minus on your numpad to speed it up from your frame rate. And then you memorize what number you need to get it back to what you want. This is 30 frames per second. I've memorized it's three. There we go. He's back to normal. Did you know you can flip it with the F key? What? F, 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 F. You can also flip vertically. Shift F. Why would you need to do that? What are you? Spider-Man. Now, what if you're working on a still image and you want to flip it? You can do that. Just change your end frame to frame one and your start frame to frame one, then bring up the animation player and it will only loop that one frame. Make sure you stop it, then you can flip. Flip, 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 flip. And don't forget to hit escape to close that window. Otherwise, you're going to have heaps of windows. You get a window. You get a window. You get a window. Everyone gets a window. Now, there's a few more things that it can do, but I'll let you look that up in the Blender menu. I'll put the description in the link below. That's all for now. Hopefully you learn a few tricks. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that's your life now. And come and join us on the website, cgcookie.com, where we teach everything Blender and we sell numpads. Look out. It's coming to get you. You can also zoom in with control num. Oh. If you don't want to loop, numpad zero. Stop looping. Oh, what a feeling, dancing on the ceiling.